Hello and welcome to Engineer Hash Civil Engineer. In this video, we are going to discuss about why ties are used in column. First of all, what are ties? See, if this is the main reinforcement in the column, this box like structure is called as a lateral tie. So, in this video, we are going to discuss why ties are used in column. So, please hit a like button, please share this video with your friends, and please subscribe my channel, Engineer Hash. There are two main reasons why lateral ties are used in columns the first thing is it holds these main reinforcement bars in place see this is a lateral tie and this is the main reinforcement this lateral tie holds this main reinforcement in its place and the second reason is it prevents buckling in the long column so first of all what is a long column See, this is the height of the column and this is the lateral dimension or the width of the column. If the ratio of A by B is greater than 12, then it is considered as a long column. So, the next question is what is buckling? See, in this long column, if the two compressive forces act against the column and this exceeds the critical load, then this long column tends to bend like this. This is called as buckling. So, lateral ties help in preventing buckling action of the column and this is how the column fails uh, due to buckling. So, the two main reasons are one, it holds the reinforcement in its place and it prevents the buckling in the column. In general, lateral ties are constructed on site. So, that's why uh, there might be few discrepancies in its size in uh, bending the legs and all. So, factory made or Ready-made lateral ties are available which are perfect in shape and size. These are better than the on-site lateral ties. With my explanation, if you understand the use of lateral ties, uh, why they are used in column, please hit a like button. Please subscribe my channel, Engineer Hash, and send feedback at this email. Thank you for watching this video.